2021 was our last chance to save the world from global warming. From the results, it's obvious we didn't succeed. But the truth is, green or otherwise, with the direction humanity is headed in, we never had a chance to begin with. Neither the COP26 agreement, nor the earlier Paris or Kyoto treaties will save our future. They're not worth the paper they're written on. And I say that because the solution is not sticking to a temperature rise of no more than one and a half degrees above pre-industrial levels, and then just going on with business as usual in a green way or in a carbon-free way. That's not the solution because the problem is not carbon emissions and fossil fuels. They're a symptom of the problem. The problem is we are consuming too much and developed nations and developing nations must give up on economic development, give up on sustainable development, and give up on GDP growth. Humanity must come to terms with the fact that because we're consuming far beyond our Earth's resources, we need to cut back on how we live and cut back on how much we consume. And wind turbines, solar panels, heat pumps, and other green gadgets are not the solution because they don't address the problem. To say they do is misleading. It's a lie. The solution is that you, I, and the rest of the world have to give up on ever higher standards of living and cut back on what we eat, cut back on consumer items we buy, cut back on the water we use, cut back on our flair for fashion, cut back on buying cars, cut back on our holiday travel, cut back on social media, cut back on the energy we use, cut back on the waste we produce. Just cut back, cut back, cut back. It's our moral responsibility. It's our hope for survival. We need to live by what we need. And what we need is about 25% of what developed countries currently consume. Now you may say, that's not possible. But if you don't do it, you'll be forced to, because that is the environmental reality. Currently, mankind consumes four times the Earth's resources, and that's just unsustainable. Whether you run your car on petrol, electricity, or hydrogen, our one world was created to provide us with the resources we need to live, and what we need is 25% of what we're taking. Up until the Industrial Revolution, humans lived by what they had. Then using the influence of science and education, some buffoons came up with the idea that we can consume more than what the world can supply, and that's how we're going to become happy. And friends, that was a bad idea. And it's an idea that has us running head on into a dead end. To solve that problem of global warming, civilization must first admit we got it all wrong. We need to backtrack. To reset our compass, life is not about economic development, it's about economic simplicity. It's not about getting lost in externals, it's about finding our inner identity. So what should you do? Start with admitting that you need to make a drastic change in the course of your life, and then make a commitment to cutting back on past destructive habits. Once you've recalibrated your mind, then learn to live by what you need and trade in economic development for economic simplicity and trade in attachment to the temporary for attachment to the permanent. The real advancement for humans is within. It's spiritual advancement that's enriched by meditation on the universal mantra, the Hare Krishna mantra. And if you don't know the Hare Krishna mantra, then I'll repeat it for you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare.